Hello and welcome. In this video, we shall discuss about how to draw the ray diagram of a compound microscope. Before that, let us see the principle. It says, when an object is placed in front of a convex lens of small focal length at a distance between f and 2f, a real inverted and magnified image is formed on the other side of the lens. The important point to be noted is the placement of the object. The object is placed between f and 2f that is the principal focus and the center of curvature. In such case a real inverted and magnified image is formed. Let's continue. If this image lies within the focal length of another convex lens then the image acts as an object and a final image is produced which is virtual, inverted and highly magnified. The important condition here is that the image formed due to the first lens must lie within the focal length of another lens. So we see in case of a con compound microscope we have two convex lenses. The image formed due to the first lens must lie within the focal length of the second lens. If this happens, then we get a virtual inverted and highly magnified image. This is the basic principle of compound microscope. Now let us see how do we go stepwise to draw the ray diagram. This is the image formation at the least distance of distinct division that is at 25 centimeters. Let's draw a principal axis. Convex lens. 1 and 2 they are of different aperture as shown c1 and c2 are the optical centers of the lenses respectively we mark the focus the first lens is called as the objective the one which lies near the object hence the focal length is marked as fo the second lens on the right hand side is the eyepiece the focal length of it is marked as Fe. Let's place the object AB in front of the objective lens. The ray parallel to principal axis after refraction through the lens passes through the focal length of objective lens. The second ray passing through optical center C1 goes undeviated. Where the two rays meet after refraction is the position of the image A dash B dash. This image is real inverted and magnified. Now as per the principle we see here that the image A dash B dash lies within the focal length of the eyepiece. So it is lying between C2 and Fe. Under such condition we draw the ray parallel to principal axis which after refraction bends. We extend it in the backward direction. The second ray passes through the optical center C2 which goes undeviated. This is also extended and the point where the two rays meet we have the final image formed which is marked as A double dash B double dash. So this final image is virtual because this image is formed due to the extended rays as shown in the diagram with dotted lines. It is inverted and it is highly magnified. We conclude this magnification by looking at the size of the original object AB and the final image A double dash B double dash. We need some construction here to define magnifying power. So we extend this line, we draw the construction by dotted lines. Let us take point P. Now we have the angle alpha formed by the object at the eye when the object is supposed to be placed at the position of the image. We have the angle beta angle subtended by the final image at the eye. Alpha and beta have their own significance. Magnifying power of the compound microscope will be given by 
the ratio of these two angles that is beta upon alpha. UO is the object distance for the objective lens. VO is the image distance for the objective lens. UE is the object distance for the eyepiece. Please note A dash B dash acts as the object for the eyepiece and the final image formed is at a distance D that is 25 centimeters from the eyepiece. This is how we draw the ray diagram of a compound microscope. Thank you. For queries in physics, please log in to www.rupalide.com.